You know whose former campaign manager, Corin Lewandowski, was supposed to testify <laughs> to a congressional committee about the possible obstruction of justice from his former boss. But he talked about anything but. Take a look. Did you tell the special counsel that the president, quote, asked you to deliver a message to Sessions? I'm, I'm looking for that reference on page 91, Congressman. Do you not have an independent recollection? No, I'm looking... Mr. Congressman, I'm trying to uh, adhere to the White House's request. I answer questions that are provided in the Mueller report only. Are you the hit man, the bag man, the lookout, or all of the above? I think I'm the good-looking man, actually. That was you saying on MSNBC, you don't ever remember the president ever asking you to get involved with Jeff Sessions or the Department of Justice in any way, shape, or form. That wasn't true, was it, sir? I have no obligation to be honest with the media just because they're just as dishonest as anybody else. He uh, requested a five-minute break where he then tweeted that he's looking <laughs> into a 2020 uh, Senate run. Huh. So clearly he thinks the on White Earth? House... Uh, yeah. <laughs> on Earth? On Earth. He's running yeah. for Senate in this country? Yep. In this country, on this planet. Right but he, he believes, I think he believes he's, he's protected. So yeah. that this is how everything goes now, that there is no respect for the law, that we don't honor subpoenas. He didn't do anything in the, in the White House that would make him uh, want to adhere to what, what is it, executive privilege. Yeah. You don't get executive privilege. I didn't think he got executive no. privilege, but he was claiming <laughs> executive privilege, and he claims that the White House has instructed him that he cannot um, provide certain answers to Congress, which mm -hmm. is kind of shocking to me because executive privilege is supposed to be for aides that work for him in the White House. Yeah. And the White House is now claiming sort of a blanket privilege for anyone when it relates to this investigation and the Mueller report. Yeah. And that is, that should be blood that should be for scary a lot for of everybody. people. What I couldn't stand watching it or listening to it on the radio is the snarkiness of it. I have taught juvenile delinquents who were more respectful. Yeah. Yeah. in a classroom the than thing. this guy, yeah. than Kavanaugh. Remember Kavanaugh? And others who are in this administration who are working for Trump. I've had kids who are, who are murderers and pimps who behave better than this. Yeah. You know, so I, I thought a murderer and a pimp. I have. <laughs> I thought the same thing, Joy, actually, and yeah. uh, there used to be a respect for our institutions of power, yeah. Yeah. and that's what I think the saddest part of, of what's going on right now is time after time in these <clears throat> hearings. If, if Democrats, too, are hoping to boost uh, just this effort to impeach the president, have these hearings, I don't want any more of what I saw yesterday, because that was just a total embarrassment for democracy. Um, but what did you expect from Cor Lewandowski? I mean, if you watch this guy on television, he's, he's an audience of one. He, I guarantee he spoke with the president before going out there and got advice. And the president watched him and tweeted saying, beautiful job, Corey. He's yeah. not doing it to give facts out or to try and get to a, a better resolution the for the country. Yeah. is to please the president. But I'm sorry, I, I just keep thinking of all the folks that have, you know, been presidential and, you know, have gotten into some hot water like Clinton or even uh, Nixon. Yeah. They could, you know, they couldn't say, no, we're not going to not going to let our people do there's this. No we're not, you can't, there's no but accountability. You have to, this is a guy that I signed a petition years ago with many other conservative women in media because he assaulted oh. Michelle Fields on the campaign trail. Let's not let that go. Did I mean, so, he so yes, he yes. there's video of it, there's audio of it, look it up. I was one of the people, I remember going on air, I believe at Fox, and saying, this man shouldn't have a platform anywhere, let alone be working for any candidate. Uh -huh. So years ago, he's yeah. a absolute yeah. clown show also don't forget excuse me and i'm so upset by this that he mocked an immigrant child with down syndrome yes. remember that yes. oh, and he said, this, this is, why is I don't a understand. bad I don't bad understand bad guy why this man is allowed right to break the law. I'm sorry, if but I said president I'm not is, why not? Go, but the well, president Well, is. that's why nothing is happening, and I think people keep saying, well, why don't the Democrats do something? Because they don't have the power right, right now. They don't have the votes, and they know it. But he, you know? also, but he says, been, I don't have to be he's, honest he's, with the media. And I recall that he was part of the media at one point. Wasn't he? Didn't he have a show on CNN at one I point? I think he was hired as a contributor at CNN oh, at one yeah. point. Oh, yeah. I, I yeah, believe so. Ago. I think what was, what was strange but, to me is, is that he gave <gasps> damning testimony. I mean, he basically said that the president asked him to meet with Jeff Sessions uh, and yeah. ask Jeff Sessions to limit 
No, so, to unrecuse himself. So, to recuse himself, but also to unrecuse himself, rather, right. but also in an effort to limit the Russian well, Wasn't that in the report already? Right. Yes. Wasn't but, that not but new? I guess him saying it was something. It. And that's obstruction. And he said that it, he was out of town. He didn't say he didn't want to do the job. Yes. He said he just wasn't so, there. You know, Sorry, we, they're making me say that the battery charges that he had were later dropped, but you can look it up for yourself. We so saw him. Yeah. Oh, I remember yeah. that. Yeah. I, do, do you I, but think, also him yeah. running for Senate in New Hampshire, anyone who's been to New Hampshire, there are the most independent voters. It's why it's first in the nation. Live for or die. Live for or die. If yeah. he thinks he is going to maroon the state of New Hampshire for a Senate run, get your popcorn and whiskey. It's going to be an absolutely ridiculous crap show. Yeah. And like, I, it's Crazy. like such a joke that he thinks he can just go and you know, run what, in the state what, of New Hampshire. What's the thing, though, about what you just said, that, that the nobody's accountable, et cetera? I yeah. think that the American people are watching this, and maybe that's the answer. Let's just indict and show what they're like. That's why I believe maybe Nancy is going to move towards the impeachment soon. Do? Because do? Put it on TV. But Let's see thing. what it is. Even if you start to impeach him, <laughs> impeach him, he's still there for the next two years. It's going to take that long. Yeah. Look how long it took to, to impeach there. Clinton. I'm just saying saying, mm. you know, at this point, you need to just clean out some of the folks that are sitting there, because <laughs> this is against the law. This is not America. You cannot break the law in America. You cannot say, I'm above the law, because basically, mm. we're a lawless country right now. Yep. Mm -hmm. And if you don't see it, it's because your eyes are closed. It feels like that. Open your eyes, because yeah. this, uh, this affects everybody. This is all of us. If this goes bad for here, this goes bad in our country, it's, it's, it's going to be a, a show.